Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. I hope that uh, everyone's have been having a good Easter weekend, and I hope nobody is going to be still in a a chocolate coma. Oh, it's really nice. I, I tell you, I'm I am loving Beam Pro for the fact that you know, people respond within the same decade as I ask a question. It's so so nice. Well, here we are. We are. We're going to be playing till about a midnight, I should imagine. I've got three games in mind. Um, Valkyrie Chronicles, as demanded repeatedly and often by Gurley Sivers. And um, then we're going to do some Sims 2, because apparently Tiara has been missed. Um, and we'll round it all off with some Agrarian Skies. So... On with the cutscenes, I say. On with the cutscenes. But more than I had, uh, Fat Frog. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge, and attacking the eastern camp. Cannon fodder is there otherwise known. Crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the army on this? The plan calls for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? Mmm, Faldio. I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier, too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions. Even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Varat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what are you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the... We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin, I, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats! What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Well, we know he's wearing the trousers in that relationship. Like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. Nice. Let's go watch the argument, shall we? Hold on! <laughs> okay, what's going on here? You really have to ask, Lieutenant? It's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being the same as you. Besides, 
No evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But... Wait a sec. Welkin? Yeah, if you look at everyone, she's the only person with black hair. I should, I should imagine it's a racial stereotype, you know, like... Uh, Jews with big noses and things like that, but we'll see. About sub episodes. Some episodes are bookmark uh, listed in book mode are marked with an asterisk. These are sub s episodes, often telling a side story tangential to the main plot. For that reason, they're not necessary to view in order to advance the game. Though there are no penalty for skipping sub episodes, they often offer a different perspective on the events unfolding in the story. You won't find elsewhere. Hello, Laura. Or oh, Scots with ginger hair, says the person who no longer has red hair. Yes, absolutely. Ah, yeah, you, 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 you little faith. It's if I'm going to start making Scottish jokes just like that. Right. Welkin. What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise, that's what's up. Hello, Andy Ray. I'm sorry, Wilkes. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. Yep. It's nobody's fault, Ys. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? We're going to ask politely. Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Well, Ys, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. Alright, I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. You... okay, tan girl, but don't spam, okay? All right, let's hear this brilliant plan. What are you talking about, Andy Ray? What high-pitched, uh, squeaky accent? I don't remember one of those. Then it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. But then again, I'm getting a bit old now, so, uh... You know, so I don't hear the higher notes anymore. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river. 
then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, Boyo? Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I've fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look. See that over there? What's that? Grass? Missile reed. A tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Bleh. First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. You hear something? Yeah, I do. What is it? It's me. Oh, I thought they disguised the tank as a duck for a second there. Oops, no. No, as far as I'm concerned, I just say blair when I see an ellipsis now. Ah, 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 I cannot help myself. Okay. I think we actually, we've got through the cutscenes, guys. Blair! Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. The enemy is sit stationed around the east end of the bridge. You have a power pow powerful pair of advantages going for you now. One, you're behind them. Two, they don't know you're there. Strike them hard and fast and make sh use of that edge. The objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp located at the mouth of the bridge. It's possible the enemy will detect your approach as time goes by. Once they do, count on them calling for backup. Get to the camp fast if you want this to end pretty, Lieutenant. Many enemy tanks are situated in the area, but some still have their engines shut down, meaning they won't attack you. Any inactive tanks whose radiators aren't glowing and whose cannons aren't in position can be ignored completely. Also, it looks like they've got tanks of extra ragnite fuel sitting around throughout the area. A gunshot should be able to detonate those. Ooh, nice. And hopefully take out any nearby tanks or foot soldiers with it. Oh, we've got ten turns. Okay. Right. Let's give it a try. Okay, so... Uh, let's, let's see what we've got here. Now... I think we should have a couple of... Uh, have a couple of scouts. We'll have Alicia, and we'll take Susie, and I think then we're going to want some shock troopers. Oh, Kevin the Indestructible. We've got to have Kevin the Indestructible. One more, perhaps? Yeah, one more. Um, Dorothy, and let's have one each of the specialist troops. So we'll have an anti-tank gun, we'll have a mechanic who can follow the tank, and we'll have Oscar the Sniper. Let's see how this works. Yes, I'm going to save just as soon as I get through this.
Okay, so deploy. Yep. Operation Cloudburst is set to begin. I know you can all make this work. Take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out! Okay, so first things first. All oh, right, what? More cutscene. Ready to move out, squad? You're crazy. You know that, right? Incoming message from squad one leader Faldio lands it on the west bank, sir. Enemy company in motion, presumed headed east across the bridge toward our position. A full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. We're taking that camp before the cavalry rolls in. Right, perhaps now we've run out. No, Listen, another cutscene. This information could save your life. Every unit sets a set of innate potent abilities known as potentials, awakened in combat under special set circumstances. We know this, such as remaining hit points to. Uh, yeah, yeah, Squad 7 is made up of a broad variety of individuals and their strengths and shortcomings to keep in mind. Oh, good lord, we can actually do something! And let's start by saving. Right. Let's have a look. So we've got a tank there. Scout there on that camp. That's the camp we're interested in. There's a tank there. Yeah, right. Well, what we can see is not that much. So I'm thinking that uh, we push forward as fast as possible. So we'll turn to scout over this way, say. In fact, let's start by doing that. My turn, okay? Yeah, we can see a few people over there. Make use of the buildings. That rubble there might be a problem. I'm hoping the tank will take out the rubble. Hit that camp hard. Enemy sighted. Use the rubble for cover as you advance. Try to. Oh, it's got to be done. I think. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's get a bit closer. Find some cover to get behind. Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! Front lines, return fire! Oh, that is a bad idea. That is a bad idea. Right. Okay, let's get away from there. All right, end the current action. Okay, so we've got a scout there on that camp. We've got another scout there. That's good. Right, I think we can actually use small arms fire to take that tank out. So what I want to do is I want to take this tank and move it up. Enemy sighted. Use the rubble for cover as you advance. Let's get rid of some of that if we can. No, we can't blow that up. All right, never mind. That might have been a bad move of mine. Then we'll see. Hmm, actually let's use the tank again. Entering combat. Enemy sighted. Hostile sighted. Multiple enemy tanks sighted. <laughs> no. Well, 
Oh, I think that's got to be done. Yeah, that's cleared the air a little bit, hasn't it? And we'll probably be able to get that tank easily in the next action. Okay, so we'll end the current action. I think we want to take that tank out, which we might do. We want to do this turn. That leaves us two actions. So let's set a shock trooper up. Send my favourite character up. Well, apparently that didn't kill the trooper, but never mind. Okay. They're behind us. About 20 minutes. I've been streaming for about 20 minutes. Okay, end of current action there. And let's have another run with this tank. Entering combat. At least it's one CP, but I think we can have some fun with that afterwards. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Yeah, it's an X tank. Right, so we're done with that one. Mm. Well, I, okay. Well, bacon is better fried than computer parts, but you've got to admit, um, both are tasty and have an interesting smell. Both are crunchy rather than have an interesting smell. Uh, what in there? Okay, right. Okay, so we've got one more movement available, and I'm actually thinking, let's, let's use you again. Here I come. Yes. Man down. Everybody, be careful. All right, where should we move you? Enemy unit sighted. Be careful, soldiers. I think actually our best option is to put you back here. Let's do that. There we go. Well, they both smell interesting. Yeah, I'll tell you that much. And the current face. Yep. Right, so we've managed to get some two tanks down already, which is not a bad start, I would say. Yeah, that's not going to bother us. Oh, good. Okay, this might cost us the end of Alicia. Nope. Okay. Good, good, good. Moving out. Let's get you the hell out of there. No! Okay, right. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to come and rescue you. Should we do right first things first? Let's see if we can get this area cleared out Let's a little bit. Here I come. Got him. <laughs> Medic! 
There you go, guys. The medic. I'll take care of it. Work your magic. You hear me? Hope you guys are happy. Now strike the enemy's camp. All right. Where should we put you? We still got some movement with you. Can we get over here? No, we can't. All right, we'll probably have to move Rosie again before the end of it, but we'll we'll leave her there for now. Okay. So let's do you. We need to clear a bit of space here, I think. That's cleared a bit of space, I would say. Hostile sighted. War leaves quite a scar, don't it? Enemy sighted. You know what? Requesting backup. Okay, we're not gonna get hurt there, I think, so we'll leave you there. But that's that's bust through into the enemy camp, that's excellent. So we want to bring a few people up behind there. Now, so uh, Largo, yes, you. You joker still all right? Multiple Imperial tanks sighted. Time for you to go to work, boy. And do nothing, it would seem. Well done, that man. Okay, who should we have next? Um... Let's see if we can get you into slightly better cover. Let's do this thing. Perhaps take out that uh, scout at the same time. Where is that scout? Please don't follow them in too deep. The scout is the other side of that. Okay, let's. The enemy could be hiding. Right, let's take that out to start off with. That didn't take out the scout annoyingly, but still, let's open him up and we'll put you back there. For now. See you later, Twin Hearts! And... Let's move up another shock trooper. Dorothy the ever nervous. Might as well use you. I don't think you're going to hit anything from here. No. Think you can push them back? Yeah, I didn't think you were going to do anything there, but we might as well. You've got you there, so you might as well fire. There we go. Right. And we're doing for time units. Two more CPs yet left. And eight turns, and we are... Well, if you think where this tank is, we're actually not doing that badly. We've still got two tanks to bother with. But... In fact, I think actually lowering the number of tanks there would not be a bad idea. So let's do that. Here we go. And tank go boom. Tank not go boom. Oh, tank almost go boom. That's good enough. How's their manpower now? I think we'll survive that. That's all right. Yeah, Twin Hearts, I'm going to. I've just got so much stuff I need to put up that the only way I'm going to be able to do it at the moment is by spamming you like hell.
And the current phase, there we go.